Well, I'm telling you. Welcome ah. to a drive with Sagaz. Ah, with Caesar Beast. Do that again. What? And say welcome to a drive with yeah, Sagaz. Because I mean, I spoke when you. When no, you it sing. doesn't matter. <laughs> and I always love it to be wrong, but it's as possible because yeah. everyone wants to edit. Yeah, well, everything is very clean mm. in a mom. Mm. But I'll tell you a secret. I don't even have the intro. Good things. What's that? Nangi intro music. No, yeah, I just yeah, yeah. cut to it. Yeah. yeah. How's it? I'm good, man. Get right, and get right. Just to echo on that, I also believe, speaking about radio, I love a radio that shows the human side. Mm. You know, like mm. if you need to cough, cough, sneeze. Hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. I want you would would play e e background music and it's off air. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where that comes from? Mm. It comes from the Kelly School. Um, Mark Gilman showed those vulnerabilities yes. in his radio. I won't take everything he does, mm. you know, because also it's a personality thing, but definitely the humanistic relatability, vulnerable mm. as a human being. Yeah, yeah, um, you're human at the end of the day. Absolutely. Those, yeah, those Beyonce brands are not always you know, relatable. Yeah, nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice, nice but and glossy, not, yeah. but not always relatable. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it's no twist today, you're driving. Absolutely, thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy driving, by the way. Is it? I do. I hate driving. I love driving, man, and you've got a nice ride, man. You've got something like this as well. <laughs> what are you on about? Yours is smoother, though. I don't know. Uh, no, that's a lie. <laughs> Young Kimoto driver, which is not yours, you, you, you tend to enjoy it I more. Suppose. Mm. I suppose. But everyone is talking about you. Not everyone. At the moment, I'm telling you, <laughs> everyone is talking. You're on social media. You you're any on everyone's lips. At everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna get into that. Sure. But as you call them, better call in. Like I mean, I know who to win. You have spoken to people. Yeah. And then about Jalang ngi career ya kuti ya kala Yeah. But let, let, talk to me now. We try to sagas. Okay. You radio boy tanda ever since. Yeah, man. For as long as I can remember as a kid. I mean, I don't tend to be like a seller. I'm advert. I'm a seller. Commentator. I'm a seller. But sagas. I'm a seller. But all everything that used to happen. So with me and radio, it was a seller. Seller. Not realizing what the love is growing. Okay. And it really did. Um, yeah. 2003. I'm doing my first year at varsity. Yeah. Um, so when we were still in Durban Station, we were still Sami, and you would know, Guti, Maui Alau, we were Varsity College corner. It's the old Smart Exchange building now. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's where Varsity College first campus was. So that's where I went for Varsity, and I studied advertising. You know, that course is now called Advertising Management. Oh. Yeah, and I would walk Gizule. Um, it was Old Ford Road, Mbona Basalazi, Besalaza, Lucky Sfatsa, Dukosa, Linda Spear, Ewindini. And then I would go across the road as well to P4 Radio. Oh, when they were still there. Mm. Yeah. And, and I would see your Joanne Naidus, your Ismail Abrams, your <laughs> Chili M when he was doing the. Um, Two to six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was doing three to six. Was it three? Oh, the, the okay. The Drive Gang. Okay. The Drive Gang with also Soprano and the rest of his entourage. Mm. Yeah, man. Do you wanna do you wanna have some lights? Does that work for you? No, anything, yes. anything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a a drive home when you want to this I'm time. A <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. I remember there's a story you've told before. What's he? Wobuka Ewindin. Mm -hmm. Mama no my work, right? Yeah. So this one afternoon, mom would come like every second month end and let and all of that because it wasn't easy. Um, and I'm chatting a lingi lang and I say buga winding that time. I think what saga zulind. And I was like, what would you say one day? Go be me no chill up here. Yeah. And what? That was 2003. When did I start doing the drive show? 2002. So, 2022. Yeah. So 19 years later. No, you did the drive show. 2021. Drive show. Yeah. How about that? Speaking into the universe. How about that? Yo. <laughs> yeah. But okay. When it's on the Rocky Radio, mm -hmm. no gwenza e your cause e what do you call it? Advertising, Advertising. Mm -hmm. right? Uyenzenga ma boom go bubonenga zuti kone eco relation. Ship a corner, Noma. It happened. You're doing this cause, yeah. Ngoba, 
you want to be on radio so when i was doing experiential learning internship whatever you want to call it apprenticeship uh, for that same course mm. um i did not choose to go to a traditional ad agency i went to an agency that specializes so the agency i went to at, it's called the flagship okay. was doing media buying media placement and they were they had a creative so I worked with those guys. Is this us? Yeah. I worked with those guys and they put me in the creative department and fate would have it that they were working on a P4 radio campaign, oh. The Heart and Soul. And I worked on that. And when we were done and my experiential learning was over, I went to P4 and I said, I worked on this. Yeah. I'd like you guys to expose me to a little bit more of radio as a creative because I now have a qualification. What do you think? Mm. So they're like, hey, we're not taking... Uh, we, they were very small, you know. And Radmark was their agency that dealt with clients and all of that production stuff. Mm. But they held me, they, they said they'd take me in as a freelancer just to take care of regional clients. Writing scripts, even creating entire campaigns because sometimes you'd have a client who says, I want to advertise and I see you have my people, mm. but I don't know what to say. Mm. So they trusted me to develop all of that. It was interesting because then I was working with sales teams. So I'd go out with them as they pitch, but I was also working with the production team in now putting it together, recording it, editing it, and putting in all those nice bells and whistles mm. that go on in an ad. Okay. Yeah. So that's how. And then I did that for nine months. I did that for nine months and then P4 rebranded, became Gaga CFM. Yes. And I was there. So I had the opportunity to be there in the beginning. Oh. And I saw those guys leave. Like the Andre Audis was doing sports for Uhambu with um, uh, Matumo Managa, a Tiny Mungwe. All those guys that unfortunately didn't make it at Gaga's. Mm. I don't know what it was because they were great presenters. Yeah. But I suppose it's the Richard Branson uh, philosophy, which if you're starting something new, um, try to start it with as little as possible team from the old regime. Yeah. It's cruel. Yeah. <laughs> it's cruel, yeah. but yeah, that's what happened. And then, yeah, we started that. And that's how, as someone who studied advertising and was a creative, I then worked in radio. Wow. Yeah. Very interesting. But not as a broadcaster initially. Yeah. No. Moving from that, okay. Yeah. How did you become a broadcaster? <laughs> So, Manda Ngobo and Brian Tabete, Baba Bangan, they were both presenters at P4 and then Kakasi FM. They yeah, like, hey, Brian that. Mm. At that time, um, Ngang, you know, I'd volunteer. Can I help out, Alex? Like, uh, um, marketing team, you know, to put out branding at some pop up event or whatever. Mm. I'd be part of that. And like, hey, Kutel, mm. uh, I see that. And then Manda got me to produce his Sunday show. Because he saw what I was a church boy, mm. yeah, boy. and yeah, and I find he had the, the credibility of being a presenter, mm. but he still needed to get into Azabant, you know, and get interviews. So I was assisting with that, and then I ended up assisting with the playlist. And then Brian had a show <laughs> called The Weekend Groove. Three to six. I remember that. Yeah, that's where the three to six. <laughs> no, I thought the three to six came from GM. the Essential Rush. That, that, it didn't come from the Essential Rush. It came from a promo Chili M did for the Drive Gang. Oh. Because yeah, he wouldn't say it on air. He okay. would say it on his promos. I get you. But it's the it's the um, I had seen it. Um, it's the Drive Gang with yeah. Chili Air. It's three to six. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and we worked with Brian. Um, I was like an unofficial producer, proper content producer. Okay. Yeah, for the weekend groove on Saturdays and Sundays. Mm. Yeah, so that's how then I I got into broadcasting because he would have me ad lib here and there, mm. do sports. Although Makosi and Pearl were not so chuffed with that idea because, I mean, this boy works with the sales and the production guys. What's he what doing is on he radio doing? now? Yeah, yeah. You know, my accent, uh, my, my diction, my pronunciation was a bit not on the spot. <laughs> you know, very wet behind the ears. Yeah. But I grew and, I, and I'm, I'm grateful to Brian Nomada for exposing me to that. Yeah. I, I've never been given a chance to let me give a producer. I'm all, I've always been on air. Yeah. And... How does it feel as a person who's hungry, who wants to be on air? Yeah. Now you're sitting with someone who's doing exactly what you want to do. <laughs> so I never had that. I never had that overly eager. 
um, for me, the love grew organically as oh, I was doing it. Okay. I was content with what I was doing. The love would come. I remember this this one evening. It was the 31st of December, 2006. It was a Sunday. And I know that because Ice, just Ice, was doing the Sunday show, mm. the jazz show. Okay. Dude, I stayed with him. The show was from 6 till 9. Yeah. 6 till 10. On the 31st, what are you doing in the studio? What? What are you doing? And for me, it was just just being in his, in his environment. Yeah. In the same environment as him. And I don't know. I don't know what it was. He said something. He said to me, so now you've done the script writing thing. You've done the content producing thing. Although it was unofficial. Mm. Why don't you go and tell them? Go and tell Makosi that you'd like to now start going on air. Doing something on air. And I did that. Um, Makosi didn't see it. He really didn't see it. And I don't blame him. You know, because as, as a program manager... Basically, it needs to exude inside of you. Yes. Into your talent. Um, Boba Bena said something about music one, once, because Kaka said there was a time, and I'm not segueing, I'll, I'll come back. I hope I'm not sounding like I'm digressing. Mm. Kakas was repeating songs a lot. I don't know if you remember that era. Yes. Um, and that's because there was a lot of um, AMT, auditorium music testing, that was done and the oh. research. And Bob said, you know what? Music is too much of an art yeah. that you can put too many formulas to mm. it sometimes it's got to be a gut feeling about it All right. and I believe about talent it's the same thing mm. so I don't think Makosi had something inside of him burning up mm. and, and, and yeah he didn't see it I ended up getting that break when Patrick Bohatsu, uh took over the reins he came through end of 2007 but yeah May 2008, he was like, yeah, dude, it's time for you to now do go on air. Um, I've had to convince the EXCO team. <laughs> um, but I trust you. I don't want you to go there and sound apologetic and sound religious. I just want you to go there and stamp your authority and sound like you are Usia. Yeah. And yeah, I don't think we've done too badly from there. You've worked with Patrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people... But I'm sorry, Patrick, bro. <laughs> I've I've met with Patrick um at Wivum and and he seemed very cool. Yeah. And and I, I even told him, I said to him, Kanda <laughs> And then he started laughing. How was working with him? When he experienced alcohol? Um good and bad. Yeah. But the totality is good. You know, when you take the sum total of everything, mm. oh Patrick he 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 doesn't tippy toe around you. Yeah, oh Patrick is one of those guys. If you've done a bad link, he'll call you for a snoop session and be like, <laughs> like Reminds me of someone. Okay? Sound, that that is stupid. Like, mm. what are you trying to do? That is very silly. Mm. <laughs> wow, wow. I mean, he's not someone who would have the proper choice of words i don't think it came from the heart oh you know <laughs> you just tell it like yeah it you just tell it like you know like a very short fuse when it comes to how he's feeling mm. and how he wants to express it mm. <laughs> but as a radio mentor he's one of the best yeah that you'll ever get reminds me of oh david yappy from red cap radio yeah yeah yeah. he would call you yeah that's a guy it's like what are you doing what what are you doing? <laughs> so Patrick wouldn't call you while you're on air, and I wouldn't advise for program managers to do that, mm -hmm. especially show my son the call because then you end up not yeah like that's the end yeah. of the show. Your yeah, confidence 100%. levels, mm. you'll be feeling like you know, now the whole world is listening to this mistake, yeah, and they're talking about it, especially now in this world of Twitter mm. and, Yo! and trends. Yo, know? yes, but the sum total that Patrick, you know, I still call him, uh, and I'm like, yo, dude. I just want to say I appreciate you uh, because you groomed me. Mm. And Minagi, I'm a softie. So, Nje, you know, like if you're not nice to me or not gentle to me, like I'll be one of those, like, say, well, back then anyway, mm. I, I don't know about now. Um, you know, I'll sing, 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 your color and yes. Actually, and, as well. Dude. Yeah, I get you. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. Um, but, okay, to say, I'm going to Yeah. Um, I'm going to I don't know if you're a 
got a, I think you took over from him yeah. when he was leaving Itakasi for Ukos, right? And yeah. then you took over that show. Yeah. Gospel. Yeah. How did that come about? So, like I said, Mandang Nobo was the first to do the gospel show at Kakas. Yeah. And he got me to assist him in terms of getting guests and then the, the music. Because I was city, my speciality shows, and I was going to schedule a playlist. All right. So, I worked with Mandla. Mandla went to a course the following year. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, my course, he calls me in for a meeting. He's like, I have a problem, and I wonder if you can help me. Mandla's leaving, and I don't have anyone in mind. Uh, do you want to suggest names? I said, Oh, Kalamina. And then my coach was like, Yeah, okay, if not you. <laughs> I said, I said, Zanel and Borazi. Because I knew Uti, she was missing uh, radio. I think Bessie put me like gospel gold. Mm -hmm. But she, so she was missing the Indian broadcast. Yeah. And then Pastor Mtunzi Namba had just come to KZN after living and last for how many years in Gauteng mm -hmm. and he had started a church so I suggested myself, Zanele um, and Tunzi Namba mm. then Makus was like, I'm already starting to have conversations with Zanele, is there any other name? Mm. So I said Spoop Teles. why did I say Spoop Teles? because Spoop would come in for interviews with Sugar Manjangob when I was the producer mm -hmm. and like I, I love the way like I loved, I loved Ngela Kulumangayo and obviously it was inspirational content mm. so I suggested that name um, two weeks later um, it's a sun, Saturday afternoon in Pume Keitu and Tegis Makosi calls me and I'm going to get me um, Texas is what we really down it do you mind the work office in so I'm going to get the office like we're going to get and then he's like uh, he's starting tomorrow <laughs> and you as the unofficial producer look like, dude they're not paying me anything mm. but he hands me over to his new presenter to train him <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah wow mm. but i was like okay cool let's do this um so makosi leaves us nosbus buyak alaksasa i even remember we went to speaker we must have spent two hours at speaker that same evening yeah speaker doro where authentic is now yeah yeah, yeah. i see i see yeah we spent about two hours Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is a clock. Um, this is where you're going to come in. I'm going to handle the desk. I think I handled the desk for like four months for him. Yeah. Oh, that's quite long. You know how, because he was so comfortable with me handling the desk. Mm. One Sunday morning, I told him I'm not coming in. Yeah, and I didn't come in. I was late the previous Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, but what panic? I'm going to do this, do that. Yeah. The following Sunday, I'm telling I'm not coming in. Mm. And he did it, and that's how it's like my phone to the Makai who post a deep end we put there. Yeah, yeah, so that's how I worked with Sbu. I became the the producer for him, spent a year. He went to Ukozi when he left. Um, it was still my course. Yeah. Remember that the conversation with Makosi not really being sold with me being on air. Yeah. Um, and Makosi got Umam Go, not Tandukuban. She was Mam Go as a character. Yeah, with Alex and the crew. Yeah. Mam Go, Mam Go did that show for three months. Mm -hmm. And then Patrick gave it to me, and that's when I started on the 8th of June 2008. You're on air now. Yeah. For the very first time. Mm hmm. Not for the first time, because remember, I, I was on air with Brian doing the weekend crew. Yeah. But unofficially. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Having I get my that. first show. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. La, you, it's your show. It's my show. You're doing yeah. whatever you want. Mm. Sort of just Within saying the that. confines of a gospel show. Yes, 100%. Yeah. yeah. How does it feel? It was so surreal. I remember calling my mom because I remember calling her. And she was like, Anglalang and Tandas. And she reminded me of that moment in 2003. It's Kat Windy. Yeah. And we were just like so grateful. Um, especially just because Uma, you know, she was a domestic worker, Skulele Kona. And, you know, you wouldn't expect the elevation in Ganyako or even Gunamungaba no Kolo, but this was just like, whoa, mm. this is what this mm. is. We are both. It was really, really exciting. For me, that was just like one of the biggest highlights of my life at that moment yeah that was like wow yeah <laughs> yeah it was exciting because in an our presenter now yeah 
you're no longer a, a, a sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> or the fastest growing radio station yeah. in the country, Gagas has been, mm. you know, mm. making strides in that commercial space. Now, when you match it with other commercial stations, yeah. Yeah, 100%. They call themselves South Africa's first regi uh, regional radio station now. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Is that the title? Oh, line? number one. No, no, no. I don't know if it's like, oh. but it's South Africa's number one regional radio oh, okay. station. It's a marketing slogan. I suppose they said yeah, it, yeah, it sounds nice. It sounds though. catchy. Yeah, it sounds yeah. catchy. <laughs> Alright, now you're doing this gospel show. Mm -hmm. And when is Umau Munto Tandazai? Yeah. Not as perceive as this person because it's when the gospel show, yeah. As this person, man, just so daga cool because in KZN, yes, also that conservativeness, mouse by e call or KZN, yes, is hyped up more in Janim Piloyako in person, yeah, in comparison to the show you are doing at that time. It's exactly the same thing. Oh, it was exactly the same thing, dude. I was a church boy. I was in Bible school. Yo. I was so committed to Sontweni. Yeah. My gigs, dude, were church gigs. 90% of them were church what? gigs. Yeah. Was on motivating youth. Yes, In fact, that's how I ended up knowing every part of KZN. Because mm. Nangbiz was. Oh, you're touring now. Where? Yeah, like I'm driving my first car. Yo, Liam, Zazinda. But it was exactly who I was. Interestingly, yeah. though, I still. How I lived my life, I still had like a small circle of friends. I remember Uguti every single Sunday or most Sundays after church. Sasamba mm. Clement, he's a pastor now. Mm. Um, he was a pastor in training at that moment. Okay. Um, Kashe Clement, and Sasamba Sikleman, junk food. My myself, a pastor friend, Liam Futuko Simkeze, and we play FIFA. And we would play PSP. Yeah, PlayStation. Yeah, and eat junk food because I needed that escapism. Oh. Yeah, because now, we see how we do it. We show, we be trend. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Yeah, Kunkulunkulu. Yeah, boy, that whole thing. <laughs> I still needed it's that. It's like Kunkulunkulu. You know, that just like, yeah, yeah. Just get away and give me a human being. Mm. Just a human being. Yeah, sometimes I'm Kunkulunkulu, but just be a human being. Yeah. Yeah. Ik, ik. Yeah, in Kulu Gemanj, the biggest one. Yeah, cause FM. <laughs> How did that come about? Um, okay, so I did the Sunday show, two thousand and eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, with the Gagas. Yeah, right. But also remember, at this point now, I'm employed permanently with Gagas. Um, there's 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 another um whole thing behind the scenes where I'm the music compiler. Oh yes. So from becoming, just I did so much. From having been the script writer, I became a music uh, assistant, then a music compiler, working with Mimi La mm -hmm. I did that for five years, mm -hmm. and then the brand is growing mm -hmm. as a as a presenter. Yeah. So I was just like, hey, mm -mm. this music thing, I don't see the future here. I don't see where it's going. Yeah. Um, and I know, I, I remember I got the confirmation, interestingly enough, when I went on the pilgrimage tour. Because remember, I said I was in Bible school. Yeah. So I went to the Holy Land. I went to Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and what? Egypt. Yeah. While I was there, I got the confirmation with Dude Resign. I resigned. And then now I, I had just a Sunday show. Had to downgrade because obviously of the salary. The permanent job had X amount and I'm a benefit, but Nayega, and I was only living now Galimalia Sunday and I'm a gigs. Mm. So for nine months, I, I, I had to downgrade for nine months. Then Vugile, programs manager at the time, yeah. goes to the, isn't invited as a special guest, my BETs. So while he's there, he listens to Hot 97. Yeah. Yeah, in LA. Then there's a show, a one hour show that Steve Harvey does before the breakfast show, mm -hmm. which is like an inspirational, motivational show. So he comes back with this idea and he's like, ah, I got this idea. Uh, I think you should do it. So they pitched that idea, started that on the 1st of April, 2012, mm. Command Your Day. Mm. Command Your Day became a revolution, a whole big thing because, you know, Impilinzim sees and 
and about my saying they need that anchor they need that hope they need that encouragement yeah so it was a first definitely for commercial to have a show like that it had a bias to gospel yeah but it wasn't a gospel show it was an inspirational show mm. it i mean fortune is still doing it now i believe yes at gagas fm mm. so we did that it was huge it was a huge huge thing um but on the second year they added another hour so it was four to it became four to six four to six yeah i remember that show. then zandile zandile is a gym bunny zandile at that time now is a programs manager at ukos so going or coming from gym she's always listening to me in silence I can't change. then one day she takes me i see her um i've been listening to you sounding great wow yeah this is the beginning of 2014 this is like jan I'm like, okay, nice. Okay, get bong. She did that. Trump was going to four. Then a call comes through no match for a meeting. <laughs> Just before April. Yeah. And I'll tell you, Utu Kozi, where, would they, where would they would have a meeting about our, our secret at Odisha Manor. Mm. So the oh. secret is out now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Nami, I'm summoned to Odisha Manor. Zandile is there. HR lady who carbos tall at the time she's there and yeah they're like this is what we want to do but we're not convinced this is what so yeah and guys back convinced why in because about the language demo but the following week they mm. came with the contract um, no way yeah the following week they came with the contract con audition man no demo nothing no, because because remember we are Lalele Moyen. Yeah. So now I'm intentional among Salas and Kakas for this lady to hear me. We go to Kuba Kona Mozulu. We infuse this Zulu yeah. like cool man. All right. Yeah. All right. Mm. And then that's how I joined Ukos. Huge, huge, frightening. Different culture, you know. Um, different schools of radio mm. as well. Yeah. Um, but definitely the national footprint was for me convincing enough and the salary <laughs> <laughs> obviously convincing enough what i know i see that in it yeah yeah and it's been eight years dude yo yeah i'm so cozy so you did le show ya sexeno zandile akbezale yona for how long libolo kala 2014 so 15 16 17 18 19 five years yo yeah and in 2017 but etan in domis Oh, so I didn't do miso for two years. Oh, same movie, Lucy Boo to 12 to Smooth 3. Who's now doing 12 to 3 with Mraza? Mraza, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we did Ulibo Lokalo, which was also big. Yeah, yeah, it was. Um, Massive. Yeah, and in Domiso. For me, in Domiso, I mean, what were you going to do in Domiso? So, Boo tell us it took in Domiso from under a million, uh, under a million, to 3.2 million yeah. listeners. What are you gonna do that's different? Yo! So, I mean, I came here in the strategy, which we're gonna make it the best sounding gospel music show yeah. that you can find on a Sunday morning. Mm. And my features were very much music based. Okay. And that's how, by the time I handed it back to Usbu in 2019, mm. when I got the 12 to 3 gig, mm. it was the biggest station at the time. Yo! And we had grown by another 100,000, so it was now 3.3 million. Yeah. No! Yeah. <laughs> From being Lela Bogis, <laughs> no good to when we are conformer all, all the time in radio, no good to you doing gospel, gospel, yeah. gospel, inspirational, whatever. Yeah. Top to three. Mm -hmm. And you show your card in a title in English, like 12 to 3 Cafe. Like, what? <laughs> what is this? And then I remember your first show, yeah. you know, self. Yeah. Then getting a link your card. Yeah. Rhyming in English. English. I'm like the Akari going to Anan. So it was the first of April, so that was an April Fool's joke. Yeah. We got Zandi, the programs manager, after the news to make an announcement. Would you be SABC in Engendez Yaman? SABC, he has a group among my strategies. Okay, I'm a client. And this show has been identified as that one show that would attract certain clients. And so let's show his Osaras in this case. And then we did, in fact, the first half hour we did it. Interview. Yeah, I was listening. Yeah. Uh, Jeez. That was nice, though. Yeah. But, <laughs> oh, it sounded different. It sounded different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 But, I still mean, Gawe, as you say, Yeah. 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 office. Yeah. So, imagine you are moving from those shows at the Wentange weekend. Yeah. Yeah. To every day. Yeah. How do you feel? I cried. <laughs> I cried. 
station manager, Kun programs manager, yeah. Kun HR, yeah. I cried for two reasons. Yeah. The first reason, what I was going through in my life personally, in Alessos Kati, was so overwhelming. Mm. Like in every way, mentally, emotionally, mm. it was draining. I didn't feel like I was replenished, replenished enough mm. as a human being to go and give people motivation every morning. Yeah. yeah so I felt like I was out of that power. I needed something else. Secondly, for years, as a radio lover, I've vicariously been living through or Chili M, mm. or Eric Mieni, or Gareth Cliff, or Makosi, as though Nami, I'm a mainstream broadcaster. Yeah. So doing um, specialized gospel broadcasting, I still didn't limit myself. The brand may have grown in and maybe I was accepted as a gospel brand style DJ. Mm. But I mean I didn't see myself in that way. Yeah. So to get that opportunity which opportunity was like, hey Bo, what is this? I'm finally gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah, man. So that's how it was. For me, it was so liberating. Mm. It was so liberating. Mm. And yeah, I got excited. Ran with it. Ran yeah. with it. Yeah. No man, you guys brought something very different. Very different, yeah. and me and Angogo, I'm, yeah. I even tell my friends and get him. I think a twelve to three cafe, I buy nigga zang is cut us enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like you guys were rushed yeah. into a drive as much as it, it, as it was good for you guys. Ngoapela, yeah. obviously, money, everything, and, and 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 everyone wants to do a drive. Yeah. But I believe we go to Guben Shalishambe for like two, three, four, even five years. Glea show. Yeah. Hey, you guys are gonna. Do something else. I agree. So there's the personal ambition that says, ah, a drive time slot is nice. Yes. You know, but the logic of how the show was performing mm. definitely said these guys should have stayed there. Mm. But what also we did, La Payana, is we changed that whole I think we beautified a slot at 12 to 3. Yes. Because there's there's a there's a so I eat breakfast, eat drive, then it's 12 to 3. But because we were in lockdown mm. and ama behavior abandoned sevens nan 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 ashinch all together, we were able to bring more attention to that slot yeah. and make it kind of compete for lack of a better word mm. with drive time slots. Yes. No, it did. Yeah. It did. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> there was a time I I don't want to take anything away from myself. Mm. Right? There was a time self is not there. Yeah. You by yourself. Yeah. <laughs> How does it feel when you're doing the show by yourself and you're just doing whatever you want? <laughs> you're not doing whatever you want, you know, you can say that in inverted commas. Yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. Um, so, Vele, knowing my strengths, knowing my lacks, knowing Selby's strengths, Humor is a huge thing when mm. you're doing daytime. Yeah. Especially. It's a huge thing because it's that lightheartedness that goes a long way mm. carrying on living their lives wherever they are. Yeah. I know I don't have that in bucket loads. Mm. I have it when I mangil passi bola, then I receive it back. Yeah. Then there's a moment mm. of tongue and cheek. Yeah. So for me there's a there's a a huge pressure about it but now we're to get you know what capitalize on it, on everything else that you do have and for me i think it's what you heard mm. um a lot of people about a lot of people about i hey, we are researcher where do you get all that information yeah yeah so i guess it's that but yeah not even that i research i just i live by the john maxwell philosophy that that says it's better to know a little about a a little bit about a lot of things mm. than a lot about little things. So he has opening as in daily. Yeah. Than opening as in daily. Yes. Eh? Yeah. 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 Got it right. <laughs> Got it right. Yeah, yeah. Um. So it's that, but also I love portraying lifestyle in between. Yeah. And I got that from Chile. Yes. Yeah, about lifestyle, mm. the bourgeois life. Yes. And having to expose that and unpack that. Mm. That's two, three music. I'm a music lover, I'm a music researcher, critic, mm. if you want. So, across all genres mm. and many, many eras as well. So, I think Iona and Duleans would think about Nendo enough to carry myself by myself. Menge could sell the club. Yeah. Mm. Moving to a drive? <laughs> um, maybe premature. Yeah. At least.
we agree on that one. Yeah, maybe premature. Um, but we still did it. I don't think we failed. No. Um, I don't think we did badly, but I don't think we did great. What? No, we didn't do great. You didn't do great. You did, we did good, yes. I got your kumbulutisha, make magel. Yeah. Why it's satisfactory, fair, good, very good. Yeah, and excellent. Then, and then excellent. Yeah. So I think we were good. We are both. Also, there was season. I would say very good. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's your opinion. I'm a team dynamics. We set up our fan because we're individuals. And when I speak about team dynamics, yeah. there are other members of the team. Mm. Those things can contribute. Oh. We are both. Oh. Um, not because we are Leo, but just because we have different understandings and schools mm. about lenders mm. yeah. and Yeah. I get I'm, you. I'm, I hope you as well. No, you make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You make sense. Yeah. Yo. Um, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a show like, you know, maybe technical producer or, exact, or um, content producer, whatever. I always do ama shows where I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything. Yeah, so I've also been criticized. Masangif, if you my teams, when I see I read the ends, you work for years, oh, well. Mm. And now, when you come into a team setup, you want to micromanage, abandon your responsibility when you're not doing what you're doing. Oh, so it's like you want to take over everything. Yeah, it's like now, although me, where I'm coming from, from my heart, because we pick a leon doy show, the swings I'm going to contribute, but I've, I've often been criticized for of being overreaching. Yeah, mm. mm. uh, I get you. Yeah. I get you. Yo. Um abanda banga kwaza banga pand. I I've seen this a lot in my glamour groups at Facebook, akuluma ge radio most of the time. Yeah. So usia It's not coming from me and I'm kulmela abanda I'm just saying. Yeah. Usia sounds bully over usself. Yeah. Agam nige is a chant. Yeah. What can you say about that? Selby will tell you that I'm lived and give me give me more space to shine. That's mm. what Selby would say. Mm. Um, Angaz, I don't have, I'm not, I don't have the privy and the privilege of hearing the output. Yenze ngale so scat. But what I can tell you is that Selby and I are intentional characters on air. Characters. Mm. So me, I am the voice of reason. I'm the yeah. and then the character of being a little bit of a loose, mm -hmm. you know, tiki line mm. from Vera. <laughs> tiki line. That's the character. <laughs> you know? But I don't know what that means in terms of I don't know what that means. Mm. Maybe if, I don't know. Honestly, that that I won't dispute. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that every single link we plan. Wow. Every single link. Yeah. 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 Obviously, obviously, that's what happens most of the time. And it's a right yes. yeah. we'll be, You'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. What do you mean? You'll be surprised. It's not every team or host and co host that plan their links. Sometimes. Good sense, hello. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 I've had someone in Gangam interview Alana Etsy. They've done a show where la Uma be good galu music. Ngata bazan. But off of my phone, we're about two. Oh yeah. And then they go on air. They 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 sound as if ah they've been speaking. Abana lot. Abanya bazwan. Hmm. Yabo. And ababo na bangan. Kote masen gani moyen. They make magic. Would you say when ano selfie? You guys were friends. Yo, we friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're friends. We are definitely friends. And yes, he's a leon. That's why I don't know what that means. And gang is a piggy because I'll sound like I'm being defensive. Yeah. Um, but Singabangani, yeah, we plan our links, we know what we want to get out of a link. We know how we want to approach something differently, like Masi Tola from Upro Juice would know, Tina, this will be our way. Mm. But also, there's a trust that I have, Moselbi, 
ngalento a strong yona ne trust to sell be ana yo ngam ngalo ku engi strong ngakho yeah yabo so loko kuya siza ukuba manga nice i like that aba abalale bokhoz si sikhule beyilento abayiyona even namanje bayiyona khozulu um speakers aba 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 command ukuthi you should know izulu sakho kahle um kube ne impact engakanani kwi career yakho ukuthi usebenze lukhozi um while most of the time when usokana njengo nomuntu ate ve ngothi na ngifuna ukuthi modern speaking person but you, you do you get what i mean i do of course i do yeah uh bungenze ngalithanda ulimi lesizulu ngafuna ukuthi ngizicije mo ngalo yeah you know cultivate and and really grow yeah and command the language a lot better mm-hmm. um but also i had a responsibility now to teach umlalele ukuthi we live in umhlabo uvulekile manje yeah umlalele wokhozi can be anywhere emhlabeni ukhozi is like o profile look cause have gone zima wesizwe because it can be someone from LSM 1 to LSM 10 yeah you know mm. because usizwe ukhule lenkandla ngiyalinganisa yeah and now has grown une MBA o CEO uhlala um a sentin mm. half the time ubuya abe se America but who cause liam sees that for that heritage element loko kumenza abe umlaleli wo cause p2 if we had to classify okay u figure at specific moments ulalele bese uphindwe yahamba as umlaleli so um we have now a responsibility to show la aba bahlala uhaya wae ukuthi kunabanye abalaleli abalaleli wo cause yeah we are bo um who may not be authentic great communicators or speakers of the language mm. but nonetheless ba lalela we are both yeah. for something yeah. so we have to be accommodative with that by the way cuz I'll learn 100% english um zul i mean jalo is zul ngokwe license yaka ikhas i think kuno 5% wesi ngiz you lie or 5% of other oh yeah because in reality you're not going to have mm. 100% uh, yes. we are both yes. and we speaking of selbia and i have been that team that has pushed that other mm. percentage which i say sebenzi sak yeah we are both yeah. but also because we wanted to showcase and bring someone else oh obe ngathi ngizoya ke lesi senior stage but i bo na nge ithola lento khozini yenze wosiano sel yeah we are both yeah. that would have um ordinarily been translated as more hip and relevant mm. to that specific person especially if they are young you did something in a as in zero moon to before but see is of my sister radio stations yeah uh, our sabc yeah where we'll find someone coming from metro talking to someone what we to 2000 mm-hmm. when uh, you spoke to about the bag with 2000 yeah like how did that come about in you know when zugu took up and get that <laughs> we've never had that um so especially SABC we sister stations yeah with all metro no radio 2000 and all the other so there's something that for example david mashabela does when he plays in goma yesizulu yeah on his show uvela ti ulalele ukhozi fm yeah cross pollination it's nice yeah so me now whenever i play a classic soul type of format song on at at, at a 2000 yeah you willing it's radio 2000 our music your memories yeah giling selen yeah and then about the hibo yeah. Would they any years into Leo I listen to get hand blink selabanya basala. Yeah. So I would also interview ama artist Anna Loa Zulim Lis Zulu. No but we don't want to get left behind. Mm. Then basing mm. a translator pal. Yeah. Konezo was Ubuntu Sekai. So good to see. And it's shown that Mabona go to the subtitles. Yeah. So then they let's do that. So that no one gets left behind. Mm. And we don't miss the opportunity Nati of of interacting with the cream of the crop. Yeah. 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 In terms of personalities. Yeah. Yeah. Cause cause we would find a good moment to shamba fire no ba. Any artist from abroad would yeah. come down here. See a face and that's a smooth of course, but we can't yeah. due to e language. It's a little woman to lag, but see a dolly. Yeah. Yeah. Um Bra Connor e effect in cool gala that I wanna talk about. Sure. Um a trend is ill. <laughs> but see you left the show. Yeah. No, it, it's English, but you left in the middle of the show. Yes. 
Ah, kube nengo cause the contracts here, okay? Yeah. And then we should go goose bamba, and he left. Yeah. Right in the middle of the show. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Did you? I mean, I left, but I'm to banga. So I think I went back on Danisa because it was the same day our menu is a on the lineup. Oh. And people didn't see my name. Okay. And Abalbona Balbone Zans na Konaktua vodcast host mm. and didn't really know what that is. And I went by Jelo to shoot to see I got demoted mm. and Utasugid. I'm asthmatic. We're both gonna ask my patron is full. Oh yeah. And this wasn't the first time this happened, by the way. Um so and from the time I came in, Gachel executive producer, not mean Angzis on me, right? But to sell put So I'm going to go to work. Oh, so he was in there as well. Yeah, so Boeing, so he does a lot of um, endorsement deals. Okay. And sometimes has to, you know, handle that. Mm. Yeah, and so I'm telling you, I mean, I got done so I was, oh, okay. Um, update it. Um, someone on standby. Okay. Even told the team on our WhatsApp group, um, yeah, you will cause your FM drive. So, I'm seven but I'm using it as in Angiko, right? Mm. And people were even texting me, with, You don't sound all right. Mm. And most people give up with it's because I'm being emotional because I've been demoted. Yeah, we are Yeah, and that wasn't the case. Ended up leaving at 1647 after I had reported to the Engel Yeah, and and then the presenter that came in came through, I handed over everything, I sing a hammer. We are professionally young, using it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so that's what happened. Mm. But I get that whole media frenzy. Yeah, um, branded me quite nicely too. Yeah, bo. I remember the online article. Yeah, Daily Sun also wrote the same thing, and then I not respond. I mean, at least this time around, you used a nice picture. <laughs> Yeah, because write whatever you want to write. Yeah, you know that's your job. Yeah, that's a responsibility that you have to meet. But until I at least give him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No developer is he hard skin. Yeah. You'll see the industry because they'll say whatever they want, and you don't have control of it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Thursday, yeah, you were trending again. Mm -hmm. See, yeah, is not, um, it's not well uh, mm -hmm. emotionally. See, I'm born no good. See, I got party gig. Yeah. Um, big fan of guys. Then no gear. Then show you how clean. Cause I got sound right. <laughs> Tell me about Thursday. No man, I sounded alright. I don't know what that is. Um, but then you must also know what Abantu really want to create narrative yeah, but, mm. and they exaggerate and using the, the platform the social media the traction can just you know catch fire yeah. I was sounding fine there were emotional moments because obviously I was saying Ben Green yeah the show yeah yeah but, um, no cell big interestingly enough couldn't couldn't come to the show but what the figure but it's the last show late so there's a rule you must go up in 45 minutes you're not gonna be part of the show so you're not but what I love at least in the good new ones are a link or two and when the leon to leon now about emotionally so it was an emotional show I was listening to Kuto doing her last show and why yeah it was an emotional show mm. I have a recording of Tando doing her last show on the Tabuti Drive yeah in 2020 yeah on 5 FM it mm. was an emotional show so that's what it was so yeah it was just an, an, an emotional show um I'm certain would I'll go back on air what? Yeah, I'm certain. Whether at Ukozi or elsewhere, I'm certain. I'm not done on air. Oh. As a presenter. Oh. I'm not yo, done. No, one, two. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm not done. But um, to hang my boots momentarily yeah. is a thing. Oh, yes. It's a thing. It's yes. not something in man. Yeah. As a radio person, we are as Leon. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I appreciate you and I congratulate you for this platform. But Ngabangoguti, part of it is induced by the fact that Ulambelu mm. we are both and the Uto Lomoyo Funayo, yeah. And now, the Uto Layo Mshamba, if formatia may not be 
mm. exactly what, what you I prefer. want. Yeah. So this platform of Drive Sagaza is able to extend and create that. Mm. So yeah, um, more of it. Yeah, Jovan. Yeah, got cool. Um, your feel okay. Uh, before I, I go to uh, to uh, my future plans. Yeah. I want to buy. Bonke Babuza Nange V Is it V what? Vodcast Ikifuna when we show So you vodcast So podcast just in an image Because podcast is just audio mm. uh, in, in its true sense mm -hmm. But uh, this is Missing Kombis I mean So for example Mac G Podcast and chill mm. That's a vodcast In essence You vodcast because it's video Oh, yeah. oh, oh! Yeah. But uh, it's a podcast. But they get used interchangeably. Those two names, podcast, vodcast. But the technically correct one is vodcast. Uma usemenza ngogveza when. No, I was wrong all the time. Yeah. Getting me now. No. Usi angega zavele. Uso dali voice ke. No, no, no. That's why we vodcast. Oh man, yeah. I get you. Yeah. I get you. Uh, I want to let you go. But yeah, let's man. talk about your future plans. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? Career wise? Yeah. I would like to own an ad agency still that is obviously relevant with the digital times of now. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to be a branding specialist okay. as I'm still studying. Um, concentrating more on brand strategy mm. um, I would love <laughs> radio wise geez I'd still love to do radio I still believe I still have a lot more legs to carry me mm. um, in the space and you got a lot to offer my friend thank Trust you. you me thank you mm. I love working with talent it's just that I'm not so great with admin so I, I don't know if I'd like to be a programs manager but I'd like to be I'd like to somehow develop talent mm. and mentor and groom talent. Okay. Go where radio. Okay. Yeah. I, I really, really enjoy that. I get that when I have radio conversations with yourselves, mm. a, a Brian Tabet and, and other people, it's just cool being on radio until, mm. you know, Pelama Ao. Yay, hey, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yo. Are we, are we driving out? No. Uh, okay. I'm driving around. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, right now mm -hmm. in South Africa, mm -hmm. anyone on a pointer right now when when we say <laughs> we're talking about a good radio presenter, DJ Sabi. Wow. But why? Why Sabi? <sighs> the guy is just a breath of fresh air, man. He, I don't know if you ever listened to that chart, mm. but it's so smooth. I've been listening to Sebi since uh, the days of ZYFM. Yeah, yeah. It sends out 12 yeah. to 3. I don't want to lie, mm. I have a heavy heart with Bam Mushil. He don't do that, even like a 12 to 3 gig. Uh, I have nothing against Proverb, mm. but I, f I really feel like at least Bam Mushil 12 to 3, Sebi yeah. would have been justice yeah. for that slot. Yeah. I got it. Um, the guy has proved himself. In fact, he's been standing in for breakfast, no drive. Yes. You know, um, why him? He's fresh, fit, he's cutting edge. He's got the lingo. He can communicate his interviews, mm. his ad libs. You know, the art. I'm a art. I art is seven sign from a link. Okay, that's a huge thing, by the yeah. way. Like, don't just give me black and white. That was Tamir. You know, who do you tell? But what's the art? You know, give me something like, give me, give me something, move me. No, as you, you can say, to go, I'm away to, you can say that. Oh, well, you can. But, uh, <laughs> if, if that rocks your audience's thoughts, then yeah, do that. But cool, my earlier audience, man. Oh, man. Yeah, for me, definitely Sabi. Mm. Yeah. No, man. Definitely Sabi. Yeah, that's what? On Twitter, Facebook, socials, and Tulagalandia and Vert. At Siam Shomo SA, Twitter and Instagram. Um, my Facebook page is still there, but I am not that active. Um, it's like even my TikTok. I post a lot on Gabugela. You got TikTok? I do. 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 Yeah. But I do. I do. I did that for a long time. Is it? I do. Up until I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Yeah. Now there's then, enough content. Yeah. yeah. I'm right. there. And now you can you can find me on 
ukosfm.co.za for the Ukosi FM TV gig. Um, just this Monday, I think we have um, Isilo. What? Yeah, we have Isilo, the producer, mm -hmm. just confirmed with me this morning. Okay. So I don't know where this, when this is gonna air, and when when that episode will happen, but it's Monday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, a lot is gonna happen with that. It's just that with Isilo, this is a nice thing, yeah, bro. It's yeah. just that this guy's coming. <laughs> yeah, no, it's my right. I, it's just that mean I'm fair to hey, everything else that comes with TV. Hey, it's really not me. Yo, dude, the hype that comes with it, the makeup, the lights, yeah, the hey, yeah, 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 boy, it's just not me. I'm gonna be a meme now. <laughs> yes, yes. You know? Oh. Uh, so Shambe and Jay, no ma, when I go to the show, Shambe, you are one, dude. It's just that I was. And I'm very critical. I don't know what that phobia is about in the mm -hmm. but like, it's a thing. I have that phobia. Mm -hmm. And and like, I'm highly critical to certain aspects of my appearance. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a personal thing that I'm working on, but I have to accept, you know, because things are seven times of me in a man. In its entirety. To tell you, to tell you something, yeah. they think um, Osuzo Tola, I'm opportunity to go to Obe on TV right now. Mm. It's gonna work for him. Yeah. Can some money go SABC three, SABC one. Yeah. Are you looking for that? I like, I like it for Meta SABC three. Although Bona is a channel, I feel like they haven't done justice mm. to that lifestyle and make it work and get the traction. Mm. But ngai tandi for Meta but once you've done radio, now you can go on TV mm. as though TV is better than radio for us as mm. the people that do it. Yeah, it's an individual thing. If it is for you, Caesar, it is. But for me, it's not. Mm. It's the, it's another platform. Yes, it can have more opportunities. It's just that it's been glorified. Now, Lenzi, like you go to Singazu, now see and Zili radio. Next is TV. It's TV. Yeah, bro. Yeah. All right. Yeah, bro. Mm. Yeah, for me, it's just <laughs> it's another platform. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. No, bro. Let me let you go, cause Peli hour, man, Jay. You. <laughs> Good luck to the editing. Yeah, man. Uh, let it drive, Usaga. Come along, go season, ask And what's your name? See, I'm Shongo. All right, we out.